Carter with Fish Fryer Approved and today it's American Red Snapper Sunday. I have two very nice American Red Snapper fillets. They're about one pound a piece. As you see, they're probably about maybe on the, the thick side, you've got probably about a half a half an inch of thickness on the thick side. They've got the uh, skin on already. Skin on the fish, skin on and scaled. So the first thing we want to do is put some olive oil on the skin side of the fish. So just pour a little bit of your olive oil on the skin side. You don't need much, you just want to coat the uh, skin with a little layer of it, then turn it over and lightly spread a little bit of the olive oil on the other side. So I have some on the on the plate, I'm just going to go ahead and use what I've got there because I don't want to over overdo it with the olive oil. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some za'atar seasoning. This seasoning recipe will be on our Fishmonger approved webpage. Just go ahead and lightly season it with the za'atar seasoning. I take it with my finger; it seems to come out easier that way. It's got some toasted sesame seeds in it. Bunch of nice uh, spices in there for this type of fish that we're doing today. Just go ahead and sprinkle your seasoning evenly around on the fish. All right. We're in citrus season here in mid state of Florida, and this is one of our um, beautiful. Uh, lemons that I picked off the tree. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to go ahead and slice it up into, oh, I'd say about half inch slices. And we're going to grill the fish on top of the lemon. A lot of people ask, you know, I, I'm scared to cook fish on the grill because I think it's going to stick to the grates and well, the truth of the matter is it can't stick to the grates. There's a couple of tricks when you're cooking a fish, a fillet of fish, especially a delicate one like this. First of all, you need to get your grates super hot. You also need to make sure that you oil the grate really well before you go ahead and put the fish on it. We're going to do both of those things too on a charcoal grill, but in, in addition to that, what we're going to do is we're going to put these orange slices, or these lemon slices rather, on the top of the grill and then we're going to cook the fish on top of those lemon slices. So let me go outside and get the grapes and the grill ready and we'll be right back. So we've set up our Lodge cast iron grill to direct heat. Come on in and get a closer look at this. You see your coals are beginning to turn white. And the temperature without really getting a thermometer involved is if you stick your hand over it and you go one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, ouch. And that's about how hot you want it. I've got a little uh, ramekin with some olive oil in it. I'm gonna take a paper towel, wad it in there and hold it with my tongs and just go ahead and brush it on the, uh, the grates. So you just get a little bit of olive oil on there. Yeah. These uh, grates I cleaned up pretty good. Once the fire got hot, I just brushed them off with a wire brush so now all I really want to do is just oil them up a little bit and this is a, again like I said it's a cast iron grill so I like to keep it seasoned up pretty good too along the way after it's done I'll do the same thing keep the grates nice and seasoned and here are my freshly sliced lemon wedges and I'm just going to go ahead and lay them along the grates The whole idea is so you can evenly have your, your fish spaced out on top of that. And I'm going to take my, my American Red Snapper fillets, I'm going to lay them on top of the lemon, just like that. Okay, this one's a little thicker. I'll just put that one on here, lay it out a little bit, just like so. 
I've got a little piece here. I want to pull this one over. Get it on there. Now I've got a, a lid for this grill. And you can do this on a Weber grill or any kind of charcoal grill that you might have that you've got a lid on. But you can, you get the idea here. Put the lid on it. And we're going to let that cook for about, I'd say, maybe 10 minutes. And then we're going to come back and take a look and see how we're doing. It's been 10 minutes, so we're going to take a look here. Oh, it looks like it's getting there, but I don't think it's quite ready yet. Let's take a look at it. The, uh, the flesh is starting to separate a little bit. Um, look at the underside. It's going to stay a little bit on the pink side because you got it sitting on this lap. So I'm going to go ahead and cover it and let it go for maybe another five minutes. We're back at the grill. It's been 15 minutes total. Let's take a look. Oh boy, I tell you what. It looks good. I, I believe we are done. Starting to flake nicely. You don't want to overcook it either because when you take it off, it's going to continue to cook for a little bit. I had to put a mitt on because this, this lid is getting pretty darn hot. So I'm going to go ahead and remove it from the grill. I'm going to take a slice of lime with it. A nice large spatula is helpful. Go ahead and remove it from the grill with our little piece of lemon on the bottom. Okay, beautiful. Let's take a couple pieces for a a bit of garnish on the side. There you go. So we're going to go ahead and head over to the table. We made a nice bean salad with quinoa and we're going to enjoy our dinner. So we're getting ready to serve up our American Red Snapper and I made this nice bean quinoa salad. Looks delicious. All right, you ready Rachel? Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and just give you a whole filet. How's that sound? Mm. You're gonna help me eat it? Yeah, I'm gonna help you with that. <laughs> so the way we're gonna eat this is we're just gonna go ahead and flake it off of the off the skin. Comes off the skin real nice. See that? Because although mm. the, although the skin is edible, you probably you know you just don't really want to eat that. It's delicious. Like it? And you get that citrus flavor. Mm-hmm. Just very subtle. It's not all over. It's just a nice subtle citrus. What's happening is it's, it's almost like it's it's um, steaming it. Mm -hmm. The citrus being underneath the fish, right over the direct heat. Tell everyone what's in your salad. What's in the salad? Okay, I went ahead and cooked up some quinoa. Let's see if I can. You go ahead and cook the quinoa according to the the directions on the container. And then I diced up some red onion, celery, a uh, little bit of garlic. I mixed in some um, pepper, paprika, a little bit of sea salt, ground black pepper. No, pepper. not the dog. Not pepper. Not pepper. <laughs> Olive oil and red wine vinegar. Very simple. I and, and don't forget the grated carrots. I basically looked in the pantry and looked in the refrigerator to see what I had on hand and decided mm. to throw something together real quick. Nice cold salad to go with this dish. So Margaret, tell me about the za'atar spice you mentioned earlier. What mm. kind of spice is that? I mean, it's very, it's a nice warm spice. What? It's like a, um, I'd say it's a Middle Eastern spice. It's got, excuse me, it's got toasted sesame, a little bit of cumin, um, a little bit of sea salt. You taste that kind of a um, Middle Eastern kind of a mm. flair to it. Yeah, it's nice. And so, it's one of your favorite combos. Yes, it is, too. certainly. I'll um, go ahead and put that together as well. It'll be on our website. Which is fishmongerapproved.com. We have a new website coming out. You might be watching this right now on our new page. Um, and we have lots more coming for you. So thanks so much. See you soon.